Welcome, and welcome to another episode of The Old Man Playing a Video Game. Uh, if you stumbled upon this, I'm sorry, I'm kind of doing it for my grandkids and my great-grandkids. Hello, Elijah, Liam, Jacob, and Paisley. Um, with that said, um, yeah, you can stick around for the ride if you want to. Uh, just give you a little update on my little uh, fortress here. Uh, finally got the walls all taken care of and stuff like this. Uh, trained a few of the Cujos or whatever you want to call them. Uh, got a couple dogs and stuff like this in here. Did an expedition and got, I don't know if I was where I had Lyrith or not, but I got these two now so I'm up to 12 um, I still have an open room because Chris and Kathy got married and so they're cohabitating having not had anybody else um, kind of get interested or anything I mean there's a few people interested in different people and stuff like this but He's interested in Laura, but Laura's not given the current time of day, and he, she's interested in Chris. Of course, I think Azera is too. So, um, yeah. But that's my base so far. Uh, interesting. Um, I did have a problem. I didn't realize that the dog, my first dog that I tamed, right off the bat in this thing I a boxer I named babe um, it died of old age and just about decimated everyone in here for a very long time they you know I mean everybody was bonded with it stuff like that even though I had a couple of the dogs um, but yeah it was a it was quite a quite a long time before people started being happy again so um, still having a little issue with these two people uh, so yeah I don't know if that stems from that or not but um, yeah it wasn't uh, it wasn't fun for a while everybody was in meltdown crisis I had three in meltdown all right off the bat so yeah so keep that in mind if you're taming, taming pets. I didn't realize they, I realized if you got an animal attack or something like this that they could die, but I didn't realize that it was like year four and they, and they died of old age. So I don't know. Yeah, I've, uh, um, like I said, move some stuff around. I got some electric smelting going on. Probably eventually do away with all of these guys. And uh, um, go from there. I don't really need... I'm, uh, I could go and... I got room enough for one more person over here. If um, somebody else would start liking somebody else and... Um, get married blah 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 and move in then I would have more room in the main main place uh, what I'm gonna do with them after this I don't know um, I, my plan was to build on out here just houses and stuff like this out and around so may end up doing that over in here maybe in the sides or so don't know how far I'm gonna carry this how many people I'm going to end up with. Um, yet, that's not good. Yeah, I'll try not to sneeze on other people's faces. Yeah, okay. I do believe I got tons and tons and tons of medicine. So, yeah. I don't know why Emlyn is not cooking. <laughs> I 
that's the only thing I'm having a problem with is keeping the menus up. Now I've got tons of the quick meals and a few of the tasty meals, but the chef salad and stuff, and I've got um, Emlyn and Olga and I think Hugo is all in, you know, for cooking set at number one. So what is, what's happening there, I don't know. I've adjusted some stuff. I may have to adjust some more. Um, they've got the alternate work area. I'll show you. With the mod now. And I've got Olga supposed to be cooking right now. Um, as you can see, she's not. So, yeah, I still, I'm a slave driver. I still got him working a lot. Right. I have thought about going off and getting a third person, or a thir my thirteenth person, so. Don't really want to getting over and bundle. I mean, I could double up some people and stuff like this. I've got the beds and stuff all ready for it. That's enough. And like I said, I've got enough rooms. That's not a problem. And I've got enough room out this way. I can move. See, I've, I've created the... Uh, light poles, electrical poles, all the way around this thing, just cause. Um, not a good reason for it. I really didn't have to start off right here, and I could have just went across, because this is the only area that I need electricity in, is these two rooms, really. Um, but I thought I'd tie in all the uh, posts, and it'll give me some out here and I'll just make a whole complete overkill of it all, you know. So there's my field still. Doing the excavating. Poor Xavier. Yeah, I was gonna say, poor Xavier, man. I had him go get bring back a bunch of nanotubes and he has, has not been happy since. It's dark. Well, you're coming back in the dark, dude. Come on. Turn the flashlight on. So yeah, I plan on continuing this until they come out with the new update, uh, so and so. Um, cause that sounds interesting cause when you come down with three settlers and try to put up a trading post and uh, send stuff off world and get stuff back in, so. Um, definitely would be interesting to see how that pans out. I'm uh, going to be interesting to see how the developers for the mod Beyond Stranded, um, how that, how they work all that in with this. Um, it would be really cool, I'll tell you the truth, to be able to send some stuff off world and get you know, if you need any supplies or anything. That's what uh, Andrew and I had talked about earlier. Uh, of being able to trade between friends and stuff like this, you know, being on the same area, blah, 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 blah. Um, could open up, it'd be PVE, but it could open up PVP where I send all my settlers over and wipe his out. So I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it would be nice to um, 
be able to trade between friends and stuff like this. You know, you got a couple of people who are playing the game. You're, you're on the same uh, planet, moon, whatever this place is. Planet, I guess, on the same moon. Um, different seeds, of course. And, hey, I'm having problems with some food. I'll send you a bunch of wood. You bring me over some cooked meals, some rations, whatever, whatever. And it'd be nice to be able to trade back and forth and stuff like this. Especially when you first start and you have a friend that's established. That would be really nice. Yeah, I could send you over some CPUs, you know, or some electronic pads or something like that. So, um it would be a whole different ball game and stuff like that, you know. And in a roundabout way, too easy. Um, but they would have to figure out some way of being able to transport the stuff back and forth. And see, we have Ook here. No, get out of there, dude. The one thing I wish they would fix is so people wouldn't walk into somebody else's room. Now, Because they do, they'll, they'll come right out and they'll go immediately into the next room over and so they're just hanging out out here. So why do you have to turn right and turn right and go into another room? No. So yeah, if there were some way you could stop people from going from room to room, this is a private room, stay out, you know, type of thing. Um, that would be kind of cool. It would stop the... Um, let's get him out of there, too. It would stop the, um, disturbed sleep and stuff like that. That was Xavier's biggest problem, uh, not this moment, but of having disturbed sleep was annoyed by Chris. Nice. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's having a problem this time. Burnout and tired. Yeah, I'll bet. I am a slave driver. Task master. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so far everything's going okay. Got an abundance of food. Oh, I got three people cooking now. About doggone time they cooked. But it's winter time. There's not a whole heck of a lot else to go on right at the moment. Everything's been harvested. Pretty sure there's everything out of the field. Sure looks like it. Yeah, a little bit of that, but kind of like 11,000. In lieu of, I built, did that right off the bat, thinking I was going to have a um, Alfred herd over in here or something, but I'm just not sure if I want to, I'm going to go that route or not yet. Yeah, we could tame. That's a male. That's... 
Let's tame those two. What the heck? I uh, screwed up, and Hugo was going to go tame one of the birds, and I went and had him um, haul some grain out of here, which failed the training. And it's like, really? I just did not understand that would happen. So, yeah, there you go. I don't know why Olga is taming that thing. She's at, I set her at three, with cooking at one, harvesting and everything else at one, at three. Hugo is supposed to be my trainer. He's my ranch guy. Ah, yeah, well, it is what it is. she was even training. I never realized this, but look. Training level seven. I didn't realize Andrew could be trained. I've talked to his dad about that. I think he would disagree. Probably his sisters too. <laughs> There was some way of showing how far along they were. Because there's no, there's no thing, you know? That's not good. Who do I have out here that can do anything? Well, where's Halder at? He's eating. She's crafting. We'll get Jack too, and Hugo. We'll draft these guys, get them over this way, and go get her. That's why you shouldn't be trained and taming. And you should have just turned around and shot him. Oh, well. Hilda, why are you planting? Oh.
in the hell are you going in here? Uh, I was trying to get you treatment, but no, you ran, ran, ran. Trying to get her treated, but <coughs> I guess I gotta wait until he's laid down. I guess, I guess, huh? Well, that was interesting said why Olga was was taming I have no idea she should have been cooking Because I was trying to tame two of them at the same time, maybe? Seems to be going okay. So far, so good. Yeah, I just, uh, um, like I said, I got my, my base done. Um, now it's just getting everything all set up. I want enough guns and stuff like this for another round. Uh, armor and stuff, you know, I'm putting synth armor and ook and lirith because they're the pacifist ones. Everybody else is going to get carbon. Um, we'll have t-shirts during the summer and sweaters during the fall. Uh, I think that's about it. And then we'll start being able to uh, maybe mess around a little bit. Back off on the tasks and stuff like this um, yeah I think that'll that'll do pretty good um, the one thing seeing you know noticing the dog over here I uh, um, I thought you know you got you got the graves in here and I thought well I'll just do that and bury the dog you know but no, there's outside of just letting it rot away, you can't do anything with it but butcher it. Um, so I uh, decided that I would build a little monument to him, and as the pets pass away, we'll just add them over this way. So I'm expecting either Gizmo should be the next one, and there's no. You know, there's, there's nothing in here about, you know, anything about uh, uh, life and, and stuff like this. So, uh, how long they live how, or what, you know? So, 
you know, so like I said, I, I, I got Babe right off, and then I did Gizmo, and then I did Maximus. And then once Babe died, I went to get Boo Boo. So I still have three dogs. Um, and they're all females too, by the way. So should probably get another male, I guess. I don't know. Not sure where I'd put them at. What is that? Is that feathers? Oh, sticks. Nice. Guess maybe I could move the bed over and put two over here or something like that. Same thing here. So, well, we'll, we'll go from there. So, I'm going to um, get off of here and... Uh, um, like I said, the, I'm going to keep try to keep this thing going unless it just craps out on me badly. Um, keep adjusting and stuff like this, trying to get everything to work just fine. Um, so far, so good, knock on wood. But uh, um, I think it was the 28th was supposed to be the new so-and-so uh, update. So when that comes on, I'll probably start doing that without the mod, without the Bron Beyond Stranded mod going, um, and just play that through for a little bit, and then uh, go from there, see how everything handles and stuff. Um, but yeah, here's my base. If I done things differently I would have done more of the crafting tables over this way and then because um, I like crafting tables doing one specific thing um, I would have done a lot more a lot more rows in here and not so many of the shelves and stuff and had the shelves back here and all along here probably would have moved this door over so I'd have four at least across and then come down this way. Eh, eh, well, it is what it is and we work with it, so. Um, but yeah, with, with many people crafting, I like being able to have crafting tables doing specific things. So that way we stay away from having the unfinished items. Um, as it is, I got six of them. So, and for year five, having six unfinished items is not bad. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. You guys have a good one and uh, talk to you later. And Caleb, keep your head down, buddy. Bye.